You're listening to 103.5 Homeboys Radio, the Urban Sound of Nairobi. The time now is 5 minutes to 8 p.m. Another game we'll be talking about shortly. That's the Leicester versus United game. That's the FA Cup semi finals. But the game ends 3 3. I swear to God, that is why we love the beautiful game of football. And you know what? I honestly thought that Arsenal had nothing in them to probably come back and um, salvage something from this game. But right about now, I think Arsenal fans feel terrible that they actually did not walk away with the three points in that particular game. I'll be bringing in Nash and obviously Zuhu Mumar, um for that, for their views on that uh, amazing game of football. Sharon, you look sad. I wanted awesome. them to win, man. I was 100% sure that West Ham are going to take this. Um, a couple of blunders from on their side as well in the second half. Um, we almost had a goal from from from, De from Rice. Yeah. Um, Antonio had, I think he's missed two chances in the second two half. glorious chances. So that easily could have easily have been like 5-3. Uh, then they mm -hmm. had seven goals from, from West Ham. I swear to God. But five game, of the goals are actually theirs. In, in a game where West Ham had everything to bury this game, they, they had all the Arsenal, everything that was needed to probably take this game um, away from Arsenal's reach. Arsenal attackers um, actually they crept towards um, uh, that one point and uh, Nicola Pepe had an effort late, late into the game. Martinelli, yeah. oh my goodness. Zahum Omar, Beautiful game, 93 minutes of nothing but beautiful football, bro. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what Arsenal fans should uh, appreciate. <laughs> uh, because we're not finishing anywhere near the European spot. Mm. Yeah. So just enjoy these competitive games when they come. Yeah. yeah. And uh, use them for fitness and sharpness when the Europa League comes. Oh, man. That's simple as. Amazing. Ash, how are yeah. you feeling, bro? Actually, Have you caught your breath yet? Yeah, I am right now. I'm actually devastated. <laughs> For some reason, I, I thought you need to thank play. God, bro. Yeah. Of, of course, but we made it three three. Like, uh, it took another, like ten minutes to go, which I thought like, all right, so we Game scored on. three goals, uh, or two goals in like how many twenty minutes? So we have like ten mm -hmm. to get the third and no, the fourth. Sorry. So, yeah, it's just what it is. I, I honestly thought we can take it. I honestly thought we like had ten minutes to score at least a goal, which you could have, but. Like like uh, Sharon said, it could have been something else altogether because yeah. maybe you get for like 5 4 or something, you know. Crazy yeah. game. As well, God, if you were here in studio, Nash would definitely be uploading I was going the reaction month. for that, um, um, how that game went. But, um, ladies and gentlemen, um, is this a point game for Arteta or two points lost? This is a point. This is two points dropped for Arteta. <laughs> oh my God. Where's some uh, whipping boys? We actually beat these guys. Like whipping I said. boys? Yes, we beat them. In their own backyard, we normally beat them. So. I'm actually devastated they beat us. Listen, no, if you I don't know like Nash, if you don't know Nash, he's the troops version of Kenya. Yeah. Not exactly, man. Hey, I, yeah. I, I didn't say I it out. Watching a game with you, he <laughs> sat down for like what? Zoom. Mm. What did you think of that second half? Uh, much better in terms of our performance, yeah. but it didn't take much to be better than what we did in the first half, which was just the lapses in concentration. So, yeah. um, but overall. Not a bad, not a bad three, not a bad uh, points away from home against a very strong West Ham side. These guys are above us, and rightfully so. Mm -hmm. But what I do take as positives is the way we actually create a chance and after chance after chance. Yeah. chance yeah. It's been such a long time since we could peg a team back in their own back uh, in their own final third and just keep creating chance after chance after chance. So I'm I'm very happy with that. You can see where. A, a bit more quality in, in, in the Arsenal team through recruitment maybe in the summer mm. and we're challenging for everything next season. Yeah. Alright, so now um, 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 according to Sky Sports and BT Sports, um, they've been able to give or rather um, Callum Chambers was awarded the man of the match. Oh, much. In those, but he was brilliant. According to um, was those brilliant. two um, uh, media houses. But I, I, I think man like Odegaard deserves a massive shout in this game. It's actually him. It was him or Lingard, but both of them deserve Massive shot in this game. What do you guys think about that? Lingard, I didn't see him in the second half. Was he playing in the second half? I mean, we didn't. Well, he must have right? danced his way off. <laughs> yeah, I think. He was playing, but we barely noticed, noticed him. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, in I mean, the second half, we, we, it was mostly Rice. Yeah. And it was, mostly most, uh, it was also mostly Arsenal. Yeah, it was mostly uh, I mean, West Ham's yeah. defenders. Yeah, back. Yeah, yeah. There were a couple of flashes where Declan Rice, uh, Antonio, and Saeed bin Rahman had some. You know, have chances, and they yeah. created some really ah, good uh, yeah. hey, goal line what? clearances. But overall, I think. Uh, I think both teams will be happy with the point. That's the thing. Yeah. 
unfortunately they will be uh for me i was i was particularly uh happy by or okay. excited to see Omar martin Odegaard, who was at the heart of all those chances that we did create he was fantastic man we have to make that signing permanent or just to be there next season is that too soon that's probably what you all said no but he's been doing this for like how many games now every time he plays for us no he's creating chances he's playing very well he's at the heart of our creation of chances so yeah, that. trust also fans good. to always hype a player today. What? No, it's not hype. He was he was good. You remember Sabayas? Yeah, we're we'll talking about Sabayas was, was good last season, not so much. Only guy is better than Sabayas. But you no, know what? Fast. Here in studio, we're all about ensuring that whenever you're having that good time, you're keeping it 100, and that's what Guinness Smooth is all about right now. As you enjoy it in a 300 millimeters bottle for the recommended retail price of just 100. Can you imagine that? It's still the same. Bold and refreshing taste, strap that offers all the boldness and sophistication of Guinness, yet perfected for everyone and the crew to enjoy. So as you keep it 100 with the Mbogi this weekend, whenever you're linking up, Guinness World is dedicated to keeping it 100 with you by offering a premium beer to elevate the good times. Now call your crew over as you enjoy. That's the last of us United game that just kicked off, by the way. And keep it, keep it, and keep it 100 with the crew because it's affordable. As two beers will only go for 200, but one five beers for 500, which will definitely elevate the front times for sure. Remember, your Guinness Smooth is 100% quality, 100% smooth for only 100 boba. And every time you enjoy your Guinness Smooth, remember, excessive alcohol consumption is harmful to your health. Strictly not for sale to persons under the age of 18. And please do not drink and drive. All right, Sharon, we're watching, um, currently watching um, the, the first couple of minutes of um, Leicester versus United, the FA Cup semi final, quarterfinals rather. Um, Sharon, take us through the United lineup. How are they lining up today? Because um, United are in red. Um, I think this game is away at um, Leicester. Mm -hmm. So, um, how are they lining up today? Um, of course, uh, Dean Henderson is um, goalkeeper. Um, we have Tellers, we have Maguire at the back, we have Lindelof, we have Juan Bissaka. So in the mid we have Matic, we have Fred, we have Van de Beek who's finally been put in the starting eleven. Mm -hmm. There's Poggy. Mm -hmm. There's <laughs> still oh, gonna call it that. Who's that? Pog Pog by man. She Pog calls Pog I thought you were talking about a pet. Pog. No, I call him Poggy. Yeah. Okay, Poggy. We have Greenwood and then we have Martial. Oh, Poggy, why do I know I talk at you? Le Pog. Le Pogo. That's a thing now. <laughs> you you brought it all up. But listen, um, this is how Leicester um, um, look like right now. Casper Schmeichel in the goal. Um, they have a back three of Kagwa Suyunku, Johnny Evans, rather, Wesley Fofana, Castagna, Telemans, Wilfred Didi, and Arnold Brighton play in that uh, four man midfield. And then obviously up front, they have Ayote Perez, Kelechi Henacho, and obviously the man of um, the king of Leicester himself, Jamie Vardy. All right, so definitely you, don't, you want to catch up with that game. It's um, just um, about, rather, it's just started, okay, so yeah. ensure that you um, catch up with that game. A, a, a couple of other teams have made it, that have already made it through to the semi-finals of uh, the FA Cup. Um, Chelsea winning against Sheffield United early on today, that game ended up 2-0. And then obviously yesterday, uh, Southampton beating Bournemouth 3-0. Uh, and obviously uh, Manchester City running away as uh, winners in that game versus Everton. A cup, one more game that will be following up at exactly 10.30pm. Um, that's the Aston Villa versus Tottenham Hotspur game. That's going to be live and direct wherever you'll be watching it from. So from us, we want to say Asante Sana. Thank you for keeping us company. Arsenal fans out there, shout out to you. At least you saved, you saved yourself from being Mickey Mouse team of the week. Ooh. United almost conceded there. Yeah. You know, from being Mickey Mouse team of the week for the two next weeks. two weeks. All right? Yeah. So we'll see you over the weekend for Fan Zone. God bless you. Stay safe. Adios. I don't know if we're doing no winners. Nobody needs to do it.